So according to Webster, the term best friend means one's closest and dearest friend, which is exactly what my Nana means to me. My Nana grew, um, helped me basically grow up. She helped raise me. She lived in my neighborhood. She was always there for me. She would make the best sandwiches when I'd go over and swim in her pool. And since my mom is legally blind, she was a big help to our family. She actually gave me the opportunity to come here to Shores to go to school for the first couple of years of grade school. But when I was in fourth grade, she came down with this uh, Lambert-Eaton disease, which basically makes your muscles not want to work anymore, to put it simply. And uh, on my first day of college, um, I got a couple of phone calls from my, from my dad. And I answered the phone, and he said Nana had passed away. And it was a huge, you know, shock to my life because she was my best friend. And, you know, we did everything together. We watched uh, a TV show, and I'd be over her house at least three times a week during the summer to watch it. Um, so my initial response was very angry. I just started throwing stuff around my college dorm room, and I was just, you know, asking, you know, God, why would you do this? And a couple of the girls in my hall wrote me cards and gave me and baked me cookies because I told them earlier in the week, you know, that my grandma was in the hospital and they said she was going to be fine, and then this happened. So one of the girls gave me a card, and her name is also Lindsay. And she wrote a verse on the bottom, and it's Matthew 5, 4, and it said, Blessed are those who mourn, for they, will, for they will be comforted. And after, you know, reading that verse, I started to feel better, but then I, you know, I was still angry. So I was just like, who is, who is God to tell, you know, me that, you know, it's okay to mourn and that he'll comfort me? Like, has he ever felt this? So being a college student, you know, most of everyone does this, you know, I would turn to Google and I was just like, has God ever felt or Jesus ever felt this pain? And um, it told, I read about the story of Lazarus and I hadn't really read the story in detail. So um, I went to John 11 and started reading about the death of Lazarus. And in verse 33, it says, when Jesus saw her weeping and the Jews who had come along with her also weeping. He was deeply moved in the spirit and troubled. Where have you laid him, he asked. Come and see, Lord, they replied. Jesus wept. Then the Jews said, see how much he loved him. And that right there helped me um, just come to peace with Matthew 5, 4 about how I'll be comforted because God went through the same exact pain that I was going through. And it's weird to know that someone who puts you on this earth and who created you and created everyone in your life has gone through some of the same exact things that you're going through. And it was through this verse that I found peace with the Lord and that I know that my grandma's in heaven watching down on me.